Hi, I'm Skyler. One of the things that's tricky when you first start using Aperture is understanding the way they've created the organizational system. So let's dive into that right now. You've got three basic elements, folders, projects, and albums. Projects are where your images actually live. So if I click on this one, we see a lot of different images here. Now the easiest way to think of a project is of a box with a bunch of prints in it or negatives and that's actually why they've used the icon of a box to represent a project. So it's actually the container where the originals live. So your originals and your versions, all that stuff lives in a project. Now albums are references to projects. So if I take something like these images here and I move them to a project, they leave the other project. They're no longer there. Now I could take these, say three of them, and put them in album. This album doesn't actually contain any images. These are just references to the project. And both of these are in a folder. So a project is like a specific event. You can imagine it that way. A folder would be like a theme. But check this out. You can take an album and you can put it inside of a project or at the same level as the project. If I want this project somewhere totally different, I can pull it outside of the folder and just put it right there. Now, let's imagine that my library has gotten really big and I want to create another library based on a theme. I could also move the project by exporting it. So if you right click on it, you'll see that you've got some options here. Export is one of them. Export project as new library. This brings up a dialog and asks you where you'd like to save the library and what you want to call it. So I could very easily just call it library new and put it on my desktop. I can also, if I want to, copy the originals and previews. So now I'm exporting the library. And one advantage of this is that I can actually import it back into the major library at a later date. This is one of the really cool things about Aperture that other programs don't offer. So that's a quick overview of how Aperture is organized and how you would move a project from one place to another. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler.